Thank you. My perspective is predominantly a Polish perspective. Polish, Poland is an uh, uh, important uh, EU member state and we would like to, to, to see strong Europe. Strong Europe uh, meaning Europe um, very assertive and able to, to, to act. It does not mean necessarily deeper integration. In, it means uh, integration and enabling member states to, to see uh, all challenges we face. But allow me to start differently. Uh, there is a land, actually a vast uh, territory located somewhere between uh, seas, Baltic, Caspian, uh, Black, even to some extent an Adriatic, although it is a bit differently, Intermarium. Uh, when in 1989, starting with Poland, nations living there started to, to build their independent, sovereign states uh, following the, the collapse of uh, former Soviet Union. Surely, surely, it was uh, due to huge support and patronage of the United States. Without American engagement, it wouldn't be possible. It was. We were able uh, to do this. We perceived uh, not only NATO um, membership, but also the EU membership as uh, a matter of our security. EU, not only the economic perspective, but also security, additional hard security. As we fought for such a long time for our independence, we are, are not so willing to give up our sovereignty just like this. Because uh, every time we hear that in order to, to, to be more effective in uh, making decisions, we, go, we have to go deeper and deeper. It is that we have to, to find real consensus between us to face challenges. Uh, when in roughly 2007, it was already absolutely visible what kind of policy is Russia going to maintain. It was clearly written in, in documents, in Russian documents. Many of, of big players, current big players, just tr try to avoid this obvious truth. Truth that uh, Georgian war, uh, so w war waged by the Russian Federation against Rus uh, uh, Georgia, not Georgian-Russian conflict was just a first step. And uh, I wouldn't like us to see all consequences, or uh, actually speaking, lack of consequence in many areas at that time. It was just half a, half a year after uh, September 2008, when we once more started uh, military cooperation with Russia, when we adopted a dialogue forum, when we invited Russia, in spite of maneuvers with clearly set uh, nuclear threat against Warsaw going on at that time. We warned that it might be a disaster if we try to, 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 to just to, to, to um, uh, hide our, our, um, 
our feelings, our knowledge. It was obvious. Now Russia, the, the pattern is very clear. Russia starts to, to use the issue of uh, Russian minorities. Russian minorities are all over the region. That's, uh, that's a remnant of history, of the empire of, so of Soviet Union. Uh, starts to destabilize. In some cases, like previously under Stalin in Crimea, with the Tartar uh, core com community, ethnic cleansing goes on. And then Russia starts to claim the right for self-determination for a minority. Sure, it's an international principle. Mm. Uh, and to always put by Russia vis-a-vis -vis a right for in the territorial uh, integrity. But right for self-determination in international law has also certain uh, criteria. In Crimea, uh, before the annexation, it was no violence of human rights of minorities, even Russian minorities at that time. No major complaints against this. After annexation, it was vast breach of human rights, liquidation of Ukrainian schools, uh, disappearances of Tartar youth, uh, violence against religious minorities, including Russian, uh, Ukrainian Orthodox others and ethnic cleansing, simply. Because, except of Tatars who were just told by their leaders to stay there, regardless to consequences, physical consequences as well, others simply fled because they were afraid. So, what kind of, legally speaking, right for self-determination is there? No, what? No, absolutely nothing of of this kind. So Russian uh, uh, Russian ar argumentation has no legal ground whatsoever, and actually, currently, Ukraine fights uh, uh, a battle for for all of us. It is uh, not only for all other states, uh, nations, sovereign states uh, in the region. Surely they are, threat they are being threatened. But vi violence breaches of airspace, of uh, uh, sea borders, happen everywhere. So I suppose as the question... Far, as far as, as, as uh, Portugal. I suppose and the question Jana, then, Anna, is, is who leads that so, determination to, to stop that to, happening? Yes, uh, we have. We have to. We have to 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 uh, increase our spending. We have to 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 change our attitude, and we do in the region. Actually, the problem is uh, with many of uh, old. Um, EU member states, I say old or older than ourselves, but we still need uh, clear leadership of, of uh, the United States. From the point of view of this region, the reset policy was a huge mistake. Uh, maybe Russia we was needed elsewhere, but currently, even the trespass possibility to, to and from